Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Spin Rush RC and Happy New Year to everybody as this is going to be my first video of 2024. And today is a bit of a departure from the brand that I normally go with which is Associated. I currently run a B6.3 and also a B7.4.2. However, I've always dreamed of having a short course truck and I'm sure you have too unless you've already had quite a few already then you're just back for more. But today I'm going to talk about this new kit which is the Techno SCT 410 2.0 which debuted in 2023 and this is a awesome looking platform. Uh, from what I've heard, from what people have told me, these things are built tough. Okay, What is the SCT 410 2.0? Is it a basher? Is it a racer? Well, I believe it's a bit of both. Obviously, most people who build their RCs want them to last, so we're looking for the durability. And this is a very strong platform. However, you've probably already purchased this kit as you're watching this video. So you, the next thing you want to know is like, what is it that I should get? Now, I haven't built the kit yet. Obviously, I'm going to be building it really soon. But I like to get the parts that I need before I start because I want to get it going right out the gate. However, most people could will tell you, hey... You can build this straight out of the box, it'll be ready to go, and I absolutely agree. From what I've seen, these, this is just an amazing rig, all right? However, let's get right to it. What is it that I think you need? Well, I've got a whole box of parts next to me that you cannot see, which are just out of frame. However, I'm going to bring them into frame, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So let me move this up real quick, and we're going to talk about what you need. All right, here we go. This is part one. Obviously, you're gonna open the box. First thing you're gonna start building are your diffs. And for me, I decided to go with these planetary gears, which are option part from Techno. Uh, these are just gonna work really, really well in there. And also the pins that are gonna go inside the disc, 51498. Uh, if I made a mistake, yeah, because these look kind of big, I'm a little bit worried about them already. So I'm gonna to have to double check that. But this is one of the option parts that you can get. The next thing, of course, are your blocks. And Techno, wow, they've got A, B, C, and D blocks. And there are option parts for all of them if you want that aluminum. The stock parts are great, but I just wanted to add a little bit more tunability to that. In addition to that, you'll probably need the pills as well, okay? And don't forget, get, get yourself a couple set of these uh, TKR5165 to get those pills inside those blocks. All right, let's talk about those sway bars. Uh, this is a serious issue because I believe the kit comes with like these bushings or maybe plastic bushings. Most people are going to tell you that you need to go with some bearings. So get the bearings for that. And also for the sway bars right here. Uh, this is very important, TKR9090A, and basically those are going to clip right in there. Hopefully I can find that picture of a guy who, like, used a stock kit, they broke, they damaged the vehicle in the front end, so this is something else that you'd like to get. Continuing on with the physical build, uh, again, tunability, if you're going to be racing, you're going to want that tunability. Uh, Techno does have... Uh, carbon shock towers for the front and for the rear again that's 9568C and also 9569C here there's a front and there's a rear that's 9568 and 9569 okay pretty nice carbon parts they look really good you're gonna have a lot more tunability there where you're gonna set your shocks next up uh, bearings Again, the stock bearings are fine, but me, I prefer ceramics. Uh, Fast Eddy Bearings has these uh, ceramic sealed bearing kit. Uh, I've heard that maybe I might have a couple extra, we'll see. But yeah, you can put that in there as well. And also, again, this is a pretty heavy rig. So I'm going to be using Sticky Kicks uh, V2 Titanium Screws. Uh, for the SCT 2.0. Now currently it is not on their website so if you're interested in this please contact Sticky Kicks directly and tell them what you want and he'll help you out. Really good stuff there. 
So yeah, have the bearings, have the titanium, uh, get the parts that you need to kind of reduce the weight there. But at the same time as we're reducing weight, we also want to make this car really strong. So there's a car cash, excuse me, a chassis shock tower. Uh, we want to put that in there as well. Another thing is about different bodies. So uh, Techno does have a body post kit that you can purchase depending on the angle of the body that you're using. Uh, but be careful these break and I'm going to talk about this again a little bit later. Uh, how to make the car even tougher. Well, let's not talk about it later. In fact, let's do it right now. Now, I found these on AliExpress and I got these directly from China. Uh, but these are basically armor posts. And again, this is anodized black aluminum. This is a lot tougher than the plastic. Okay, once again, this is subjective. You could go with this, you know, you don't have to, but this is something that I'm going to use uh, as an option to the stock body post. Another issue, of course, is air. Now, when you're running short course trucks, we all know about the parachuting, the ballooning effect. Uh, Techno does make these air guards, air control guards. And you can throw those on the kit as well. Uh, hopefully get some of that wind uh, from going into the body and uh, making you look like you're about to go to the Wizard of Oz land or something. Oz, <laughs> fly away. Uh, sorry, I don't like hot air balloons. I think they're dangerous. Uh, for the shocks, uh, the shocks in the kit are really, really nice. However, I'm going to put on these aluminum shock caps, okay? And also you're going to need the O-ring kit that comes with it. Uh, this is a common mistake. You want to order these. Yeah, let me get these. And then you forget to order these. And there you go. You're set back and you're putting the stock caps on until you can get these in the mail. I hate waiting for things in the mail. Uh, as far as your motor and electronics, now this is very, very subjective. Again, everybody's going to go with their favorite. Uh, you could go with a Tekken setup or you could go with Hobby Wing setup. Uh, I'm going to be going with the 4300 KV motor from Hobby Wing, the XC run here. Uh, I've heard great things about this. And in addition to that, whether you get the 4300 or the 4000, uh, you are going to need either the 16 tooth or 17 tooth pinion okay for that okay that's a five millimeter shaft there so make sure that you are getting the right pinion for your rig for the servo i've heard a lot of good things about the protec 170 sbl uh, there's also one that's more for torque but uh, also you could go with the uh, scrummit for it as well. Uh, I heard you might need some shims. So definitely pick up a set of shims. Hopefully you have that in your kit already at home. But that's what I use for a servo. The ESC I have not decided on yet. Uh, again, there are lots of choices, lots of options out there for you. All right, this is part two. I had to actually clear in my bench because the next parts I'm going to put in front of you are actually quite big. Uh, everybody has a choice of tires and wheels, uh, but I myself, I'm going to start with these Pro Proline uh, Badlands. I've heard really, really good things about this. It's like, wow, that tread there looks so good. Okay, So I'm definitely going to go with the Proline Badlands. Just to start out with, later on I'm going to add other things that I want to put on there. However, a lot of guys are going to pick up the uh, Techno wheels here for a short course truck. And again, I might put some carpet tires on here depending on where I'm going to run. But I have a set of these also as well. That'll help out. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger from there. Because the most popular question is, what body should I use? And that's what you see, it just took up the whole screen right there. 
Uh, this is the Techno Illusion High Flow. Okay. Uh, this is a $42 body. I don't know if you get this in here so you guys can see it a little bit easier, but yeah. This is the first body that I'm going to work with. Again, the reason why I chose this one, obviously, if you can see in the rear here, it's a little bit difficult to see. But yeah, there's areas that you can cut out to get that air to pass through. Okay. Again, the air guards in combination with that should make life easy for you to glide through the air. However, there is another body that's quite popular. And this also has vents. This is the HF2 SCT. Oh, sorry, I'm not getting this in frame, but we'll live with it. Again, you can also cut out the vents in the back here, get some more airflow. But yeah, I'm going to try both bodies out and hopefully that's going to work out for me. And that's pretty much it for this particular rig. I mean, there's always something else that you can buy uh, for your kit. I've heard good things about RC Body Armor. Uh, RC Body Armor is a really good brand. You can get that on the body. They got that Dragon Scale Skin. Uh, it's just to toughen things up. But I believe the Short Course Trucks are coming back. And actually, I hope they do. <laughs> I really, really hope they do because this looks like a lot of fun. I enjoy racing. However, I also enjoy just bashing out with some friends and, and, and bumping a little bit and, and you know, getting toe-to-toe -to -toe with people and blocking people out. And this is going to be a very massive car, as you see with the saw with the body there. Uh it gets bigger. The box actually is really, really small, but it gets bigger. So once again, uh, good luck to you. Uh, if you pick up an SCT 410 2.0, I know you are going to be extremely happy. And that's all the information that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead. Say what you want to say or ask some questions. I will delete messages from trolls though. <laughs> There's no hamburger in this video, sorry. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, enjoy the build. That's all. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.